West Virginia University has recently added a new classroom that is unlike any others. The STEP Simulation Center consists of four labs, which allow students a real-life chance to train without jeopardizing patient safety. When, when a learner first walks in and sees this mannequin, it's just this plastic doll lying on a stretcher, and they accept it as that, as a plastic doll lying on a stretcher. Once the scenario begins and the patient becomes sick, and it's their responsibility to address that situation and improve it, they suspend disbelief, and all of a sudden that mannequin becomes a real patient. Computers monitor the patient's physiology, as well as his pharmacology. With more than 72,000 reactions to procedures, the student gets quite a different experience outside of the textbook. As students, sometimes we are not the ones at the bedside doing things in an emergency. In a sim lab, they are the first line of defense for that patient, and so they are the ones who are giving the medications, they are the ones who are documenting what's going on, they are answering physician questions, where in a real hospital, as a nursing student, you're in the corner, maybe helping the family, maybe running to get things, and maybe just unplugging that defibrillator. A simulation center like this allows you to just practice the same thing over and over again on the mannequins. And I think it's great because you can't practice the same thing over and over again on a, on a real patient. You don't want to be fumbling around for the different uh, instruments or the different parts of a kit that you're using. You want to be able to know that before you go in there. So this gives you a good chance to work things out and, and become smooth and proficient. There's family in the room. There are doctors in and out. Your orders are changing. The monitor's going off. Um, the patient changes. The family gets upset. And you are dealing with all of that at once, and that can become very stressful. We can gradate the chaos so that they have a chance to learn how to deal with this and how to do good patient care in the midst of a lot of noise and a lot of activity. One of the best parts about the Sim Lab is that we can actually put um, students from different disciplines in the same room. Up to this point, we train in what we call silos. And yet, in a hospital, when you are working, you're the, the physician, you're the nurse, you're the respiratory therapist, you have to work as a team. And so what we can do in here is make them work as a team. And then afterwards, we go to a room which we refer to as the debriefing room. In that room, we can show them videotape of what they did, how the patients reacted. We can talk about it. This is where our students do very deep learning. For West Virginia Public Broadcasting, I'm Chuck Klein in Morgantown.